I've got Albie here and we're in the poly tunnel and I want to do a bit of a cleanup. I'm going to harvest some green tomatoes because we're going to get a frost this weekend and I'm going to harvest some peppers as well. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a tidy up because it is probably level 10 disaster. Those are the geese. <laughs> oh my God, they're so funny. So I just wanted to show you something. Now, I've actually never successfully grown peppers. I mean, I think I have, but nothing that really sticks in my mind. And it's interesting because I was thinking, how do I harvest these? I didn't bring any pruners, but they're very similar to a lot of other fruit. When they're ready, you should just be able to tilt them up and they pop off the stem. And uh, so all you do is you just tilt them up. Oh. Look at that, it's got a little hole in it. Anyway, I'll see if I can find another one that's ready. And when they're not ready, they don't wanna come. Uh, now, I don't even know, these are supposed to be cayenne. See that one popped right off. Um, these are supposed to be cayenne. I know they're not cayenne because they're not shaped like a cayenne. I bought them at the farmer's market. Um, so it was kind of just for fun to see how they're gonna do. See, look, okay, I don't know if you can see this big guy. I'm just gonna tilt it up. Oh, now it doesn't want to do it. You, it's just right in the neck. But see, it just popped off and it's clean. Clean little pop off, which is nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, I bought these from the farmer's market. They were like two bucks. Um, I had a baby in May, so I didn't start all the seeds in the world. And a lot of these are not red. Um, and it's not the weekend yet, but I just need to harvest them because I... Uh, I don't know when later in the week I'm going to get to do it. I've got quite a few things I need to do. I need to get my garlic planted and some perennials from seed. I want to get them started in the fall. That's another video. Anyway, so I uh, I wanted to get everything out of the greenhouse. And I think that's all the plants from this. This one's a little rotten guy. We don't need him. I have tried these. They are so spicy. I thought they were like maybe a take on a jalapeno, but they're not. So um, I'm uh, excited to... Uh, cook with these, make a hot sauce, uh, and I'll show you how much I got of two plants. Four bucks. Woo! Deal. So these are all the peppers that I harvested. Yeah, I'll be doing good. And some of the tomatoes that I'm pulling out. Now, I didn't get a great harvest of tomatoes this year. We've been eating them, um, but it wasn't my tomato year, and I actually didn't water in my greenhouse. Again, I had a baby. Look, where's the baby? Just chilling, mm. Albie. He's doing good. So I have this tray of old um, potting soil from seedlings. It's crusty. It's hard. It's been left out all summer. Um, so I'm gonna put all this in a big pot, and then I'm actually gonna take it outside. And what I want to do is I want to um, I'm gonna use this. I need to plant some perennial seeds. I want to plant some lupins and some poppies. Not actually perennials, but like annuals <laughs> anyway edit that out um so i'm going to spread this on the ground i'm going to put the poppy seeds in and the lupins in certain areas where i've already had cardboard down for quite a while and um water it and see how that goes but anyway i need to clean this place up and i'll save this dirt and uh get going so my greenhouse is pretty nuts. Last year, I think I kept it a lot. Like it was my nicest year. And this year I had a baby in May. So I really haven't been out here very much. Today is like one of the 10 times, five times I can count on my hand. So I'm finally <laughs> dealing with everything. You know what these are? Trays of seedlings, dead obviously, that I didn't get planted because I just couldn't do it all. I planned a big epic COVID garden. And you know what? I had a baby and I thought I could do a million things and I couldn't. Especially here where we live, people plant their gardens after May long weekend or around May long weekend usually. And um, 
yeah, my husband was working nonstop. Um, Albie would have been 22 days old and that was just impossible. I'm guessing this was frilly kale. I got enough kale, I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't need any more kale. But yeah, so um, it's nice to get some time in here. It feels really good and I'll be super chill. That won't last forever. This video won't end well. Um, and I've got a kitten in here. I've got my dog in here, my baby. My other son is on the back porch, hopefully playing with the other kitten. And uh, yeah, next up on the docket is to plant garlic. This is just garbage. Don't buy these frilly falling apart things, don't. I reuse them, I won't reuse this one, but they make a lot much firmer ones now and you can reuse them year after year and that will be my next investment. I'm happy I had them when I did, they weren't very expensive, but if you're talking zero waste and not wanting to um, have a big impact on the environment, it seems silly to buy these things every year. <clears throat> I've reused them, but. They're, they're near their end of their life cycle, I'd say. But yeah, things are looking better in here. Garbage, recyclage, not garbage. Um, <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this is gonna be excellent soil for starting some seeds uh, outside on the ground. I'm thinking um, I'm gonna have to really smash it up. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here, people. But I really wanna get poppies planted in the fall and some lupins. I just think that would be so beautiful. Albie, you're doing so good, honey. Everybody give Albie a high five for playing on his tummy in a greenhouse. Let me show you what he's doing. Baby of the Year Award, what are you doing? Hi, Jack. So next year when I um, do my seedlings, I'm going to get uh, new trays. I won't reuse this soil because I don't want to pass on any bacteria or diseases to my innocent little seedlings. This is really only going to be used for outside um, <clears throat> seeds that will go through the fall anyway. Um, but I'm also going to have to order new trays. So I am going to look at ordering some of the firmer ones that um, are more durable and will last me. Now I'm probably going to have to order those right away because of COVID, a lot of stuff you can't get. Right now, I want broad beans. Do you have any broad bean seeds? Just kidding. I love them. They're one of my favorite kinds of plants, annuals, to grow. You can use them in soups they freeze like so well um they're really just such a great fun thing to grow beautiful black and white flowers like i just i just love them um and i cannot find them that this is like what is gonna happen to my life if i cannot get my broad beans other things i can't get scallions i really no 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 i always say the wrong thing shallots shallots Shallots, you can plant in the fall. They say it depends on where you live, but I've read contradictory advice on that. Um, and shallots, you can apparently plant in the fall like garlic and they'll overwinter well with some mulch, especially in our zone 5B. Um, and I really want to, sorry, sidetrack. I really want to have shallots because they store really well. A friend gave us shallots and they, uh, oh my God, a kitten's chasing them off. Um, a friend gave us shallots. Um, they're two years old and they haven't gone bad and we have them hanging braided at the top of the basin and stairs. So that is all I want to grow. Onions that store well. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a thing. Like, I mean, we'll see what I can find. I might have to um, bug local gardeners around here, see what shallots. And hope my baby's not eating dirt right now. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Anyway, it's party in here. It's starting to rain. Who wears yellow when they're gardening? I do. I just wear my normal clothes because such is my life. But I'm going to finish tidying up. 
not a real tidy. It's like a half a tidy. That's how I roll when you have a baby. Basically till he cries. So I've harvested what I had for tomatoes and peppers. Not a lot, but you know what? I don't care <laughs> because I don't have any canning lids. So I'm actually going to ferment the tomatoes once they ripen and ferment the peppers. So that will make storage a lot easier. Um, and I've tidied up a little bit from what you can see. Um, makes me feel pretty good. I noticed I had a bit of an ant problem, which happens when you don't water in your greenhouse. Um, so I put some diatomaceous earth on there and I'm going to take the plants that were here and that dirt and I'm going to put it outside on the cardboard. And, um, if I have time, it's sprinkling a little bit, but if I have time before LB turns into a pumpkin, I'm going to plant some of those lupin seeds and stake them and mark them so that I don't forget that they're there in the spring. <laughs>